Alright guys, so welcome to my first ever tutorial on this channel. Um, so today we're going to help all the people who don't know much about installing mods and make it a lot easier too by showing them what they can use. So this is for anyone who wants to install mods uh, for pretty much any game that supports Nexus Mod Manager. In this video in particular we're going to show you how to install the Fallout mod for Fallout 3 but the same system will pretty much apply for any game that Nexus Mod Manager uses such as Fallout New Vegas or Skyrim. So uh, before we before we show you how to install the mod we are going to just have a little comparison by showing you what Fallout 3 looks like without the Fallout mod. Uh, if you don't know what the Fallout mod is it is pretty much this mod right here and this mod pretty much gets rid of the green out of Fallout 3 which some people think is very ugly including me so so I think it makes the game look a bit better by taking it out so uh, just before we get in I'm just gonna take a look at how the game looks before we install Fallout so here we are guys this is where I left off last in my playthrough of this game uh, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it on the video or just in this part of the world because this is kind of a that's green part of the world, but I can already tell the difference after taking the mod off. Um, and to me, it actually looks less like a green tint and more like a a grey tint. But it definitely makes the game look uglier. So this is just the kind of before. So now we're gonna actually show you how to install the Fallout mod and then show you what it looks like after we do so. So now that we've seen the preview of what the game looks like before Fallout, let's get into actually installing it. So first. Uh, you're gonna want to go to the Nexus mod website, which will be in the description. All the links will be in the description. It says Skyrim here. That doesn't matter. This is just the download for it. So once you're on this page, just click on download uh, Vista Windows 7 or Windows 8, unless you have Windows XP, which n not many people should or do. But click on this. It will press save file and then install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna go through the whole install thing press yes here like every time and then go on with the install. I'm gonna cancel it because mine's already installed but once we're there once we're there uh, once you have it installed you can pause the video until you do once you have it installed open it up and it it will usually uh, start off with a scanning thing so I'm just gonna show you what it look like so it look like this and it will find all of the games that are compatible that you have installed so once it finds Fallout 3 you'll want to uh, and look where it is installed and then press on that tick and then any other game that you want to do this to like Skyrim and stuff like that uh, and then you can just press stop searching once you do that now you press OK once, you, once you've once you ticked the, that, it is, that it is indeed the right place to be installed press OK and then it'll ask you which of the games you want to open since you probably only picked fall 3 it will only show fall 3 so you can tick this if you want to only install mods for fall 3 but just press ok it will load up and then here once you're here this all may look confusing but it really isn't first you may want to make an account I don't know if it really matters but I already have an account so you can just press the login uh, make sure that all the plugins are enabled and then and then these are all my mods that I have already installed fell out would be here and it isn't because I got rid of it. So now what you want to go is onto the Nexus Mods slash Fallout 3 which will also be in the description so if you do want to install this mod then if you want to install this mod just press on top files and then it will be like number 4 or something or you can press on browse files and then search for it but once you're, once you're at any mod go into files and then download what you need so most of the time it will just be one thing and you download it in this case it is actually two things so you press on that one which will be the the core mod and then this one if you have DLC which I do so you can also do this once you're once you've done that you can pretty much exit out of here and go back on your Nexus mods and then you'll have to wait a little while while it actually uh, downloads which in my case is already done apparently so now you want to go look for it so uh, any new mods will always have a little symbol like that next to them so here it is it is here and there those two mods are so now what you want to do it's it's actually really simple is click on each of the mods and then click on this little symbol here 
this will activate it. This may take a while. In that case, it didn't. Once it once it turns like that, then it's done. So you can click on the other one, uh, which is the DLC, and then you can. And then once this comes up, because it thinks it's the same mod, but it isn't. Press no, because that will then install it uh, separately, like it should. Because if you replace it, then the fellow for your normal game, not DLC, will not be working. Once it's here, just press on the launch Fallout 3 and it will take you to the thing. I'm not going to use Launch Fallout 3 because I have other mods that require a foes loader but uh, but that is about it. So now I'm going to show you what the game looks like after you've installed the mod. Alright so uh, this is what the game looks like with Fallout installed. Um, there is a difference as I said in this part of the city you might not really, really be able to tell but uh, the green or whatever kind of tint there was is gone which I do think makes the game look better. Uh, so I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if if that that helped you. You know you can leave a like too. And if you have any problems or questions, feel free to comment about it. But for now, I'll see you in the next video.